Welcome back class. Today we're talking about surface area of prisms and cylinders. The other day we spoke on solid figures and today we're going to talk about how to find the surface area of two types of solid figures. The first being a prism will be the and it is defined recall that a prism is a polyhedron with two congruent faces that lie in parallel planes. Now a couple of interesting information the height of a prism is the length of the perpendicular segment, which we call the altitude, that joins the planes of the two bases. And the surface area of a prism is the sum of all the areas of the faces. Now, we don't want to sit there and look and notice that a polyhedron is a bunch of polygons all put together and having to find the area of all of those different polygons and adding them up. We have a simpler form of doing that. We have this formula. The surface area of a prism, now this recalls a, uh, is for a right prism, is found by pH plus 2B. Now, P is the perimeter of the base, where H stands for the height of the prism, which we uh, look at it being the perpendicular distance between the two bases. Um, and B, capital B in this case, notice that it is the area of the base. So let's put this into practice. We have a prism, one of the most common types. It is a rectangular prism. And we can see that the prism sets on the base of a rectangle or uh, it is defined as a rectangle. I know it appears to be a parallelogram, but as a three-dimensional object, we have to draw it in that form, but it is a rectangular base. So our surface area volume or formula is pH plus 2 capital B. But remember, P is the perimeter of the base, H is the height, the distance between the two bases, and capital B is the area of the base. So we have to define what our base is. I always like to, if it is a rectangular one such as this, whatever it's sitting on. And we have an example later on that uh, changes that up. So here are my two bases. So if I'm going with those as my two bases, I now need to find the perimeter first. Now recall that the perimeter of a rectangle, perimeter equals 2 times L plus W, length and width. So our formula is 2 times 8 plus 4 times the height. Now, the height is the distance between the two bases. In this case, it is 6 plus 2 times the area of the base. Now, prisms change, so we have to recall our area formulas. For this one, it is a rectangle, so the formula for the area of a rectangle is base times height, so that is 8 times 4. Now, let's clean all this up and perform our operations. We have 8 plus 4, which is 12. So we're going to say 2 times 12 times 6 plus 2 times this product, 32. 2 times 12 times 6 gives us 144 plus 2 times 32 is 64. Adding, we have 208. Now, these are inches, and we are talking about area. Even though it's surface area, it is still area, so we are squared units, square units. So the surface area for this prism is 208 square inches. Not too bad. Let's look at our second solid for today's lesson. And that is a cylinder. A cylinder, we've talked about it being a soup can. Well, a cylinder is like a prism in that it has the two bases. Here is one of those bases. And the other base, because they lie in parallel planes. However, the bases are not polygons. They are circles in this case. Now, to find the surface area of a cylinder, we have the following formula. It is very similar, but we don't have perimeter and for a circle, remember we have circumference, if you recall, 
but we go on ahead and simplify it as 2 pi r. That is our circumference. H times H, still the height is that distance between the two bases plus 2 times the area of the base. In this case, the area of a circle is pi r squared. So here we have an example. So surface area equals 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. So from here, we just plug in our values. Now, depending on the directions, if it asks to put the answer in exact form or if it says to round, um, that depends on what we use for pi. I like to treat pi just like normal. Uh, leave it as terms of pi all the way through until the very end. So I'm plugging in 2 pi times my radius, which is 5, times the height. And the height here is 12, plus 2 pi radius squared. So here I have 2 times 5 times 12. 120 pi plus, well, 5 squared is 25, so 25 times 2 is 50 pi. Now, combining like terms, we treat these like they're variables, so that gives me 170 pi square centimeters. If it asks for an exact answer, that would be our exact answer. If we need to round to the nearest tenth of a decimal, we would simply say 170 times 3.14. When we plug that in, we get a value of 533.8 square centimeters. And if need be, sometimes directions do ask or allow us to round to the nearest whole number. So our surface area for this cylinder rounded to the nearest whole number would be 534 square centimeters. Surface area is plugging in, finding and identifying the parts and plugging in. Now, talk to you about an example that may be a little different as far as a prism. Well, here we have a prism, and this prism is a rectangular prism. I'm sorry, it is a triangular prism. We talked about a rectangular prism earlier, and I noticed that I forgot to write these in. These are right angles there. It's very important for us to remember that or understand that. We still find the surface area the same way. Recall that the surface area is the perimeter of the base times the height plus twice the area of the base. And to understand our base in this case, case is definitely a triangle. Here is one and here is the other. So we have to find both the perimeter and the area of that triangle. So we have to recall our formulas. First of all, perimeter is just the distance around it. So it's eight plus six plus, well, notice that here in our drawing that if there are congruent figures, which they are, this side transposes to this side. We can write that in as being 10 inches. So the perimeter is simply 8 plus 6 plus 10. The height is that perpendicular distance from the two bases. So we're going to multiply that times 12 plus 2 times the area of the base. Now, recall we have a triangle. The formula for the area of a triangle, area of triangle equals base times height divided by 2. So our base is 6, the height of the triangle. Now don't get these confused with the height of the base and the height. I know it can, but stay focused divided by 2. Now, let's clean this up. We can cancel these out. We have 8 plus 6 plus 10, which gives us 
24. 24 times 12 plus 6 times 8 is 48. So 12 times 24 is 288 plus 48. Therefore, our surface area for this triangular prism is 336 square inches. As you can see, the formulas that we've used in previous lessons are very important for us to remember and recall. We need to be able to recall those um, very quickly to be able to use those in all types of examples. So here are two more formulas that we have, surface area for a prism and a cylinder that we need to start putting to memory as well. See you in class.